Most of us who've played EVE Online for a while have a serious love-hate relationship with the game. Unlike any other game, there really is no end to the possibilities and potential of what you can accomplish. But there's also a huge potential for epic failure, and it's all kind of relative. One person may feel like losing their mining barge to a ganker is the end of their EVE gaming career, while another, say, a leader of a huge alliance of thousands of players, has been backstabbed, betrayed, they've lost all their best digital friends, and the equivalent of hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of in-game assets have been stolen or destroyed. Kirk to Spock, it's two hours, are you ready? Right on schedule, Admiral. Just give us your coordinates and we'll beam you aboard. All right. I don't like to lose. Most of us don't like to lose. This is human nature after all. We have goals or accomplishments in our minds, and when we fail to reach those goals, we usually consider it a discouraging loss. A win and a loss is rather subjective after all, even in EVE. For a PvP player like myself, a win is generally considered a ship kill, and losing, at least temporarily, is a ship loss, and this applies even for non-PvP players. And with websites such as Zkill that show all the kills and losses of every pilot on EVE, the spirit of competition is encouraged even further. So here's what happened for me. I noticed that our small gangs were being killed every now and then by the new Triglavian destroyers, the Kikamoras, and yes, I am pronouncing it Triglavian, since the Triglavians say Triglav in their message, and the Scope News Channel calls them Triglavians. So before I get endless nerds commenting about this pronunciation, you know, you say tomato, I say tomato, you say Triglavian, I say Triglavian, or Triglavian. Let's call the whole thing off. So anyway, here's what happened. I got into a Kikamora myself for testing and shakedown cruises. Immediately I fell in love with the exquisite design of these ships, the details of which I will probably cover in another video. My thinking was that if other people can kill me with these smooth sailing high damage output nightmares, then I could do the same. Well I was wrong. I lost one, I lost two, and then I lost a third, and then stopped. Now I didn't mean to stop at three, I just instinctively stopped at my third loss. And although I did have an interesting fight against a Gnosis, which I couldn't kill, it got away through a gate, the others were mostly incidental losses with no real fight. Perhaps I might have been able to escape had I been a little more alert and adroit with my flying. And then all these failings seem to start happening in threes, even the real life ones. So what does it all mean? Well, I think maybe it's a sign, it's an omen. A message perhaps from the great Zorya of Triglav himself. Now I can sit here and bullshit you with some profound pearl of wisdom about what all this means, but I, to be honest, haven't got a clue. So rather than try to decode all this, I'm just going to go with it, perhaps going with the flow of Virage, and I'm not clear about what that means either. But I have begun to assimilate the Triglavian method and structure, perhaps maybe even a little involuntarily meaning a multiple of three for everything in EVE, and admittedly a little bit in real life as well. I'll explore this with the PvP journey that I've already begun as of this recording. So the thing is, currently, not counting transport ships and barges, there are seven size levels of ships in EVE. Frigate, Destroyer, Cruiser, Battlecruiser, Battleship, Capital Ship, and Super Capital Ship. I'm inexperienced and uncertain about the use of Capital Ships in PvP, However, up to Pirate Battleship class is within my experience. Oh yes, and there are also corvettes known as uh, rookie ships. There are dozens of ship classes within each size level. I will choose three ship classes out of the first five size levels. This is a total of 15 different ship classes from frigate to battleship that I will choose. For example, for frigates, it's the Incursus, the Imperial Navy Slicer, and the Triglavian Domovic. I will fight and either achieve 6 kills with each ship class with something resembling a solid fight, so killing a Sino frigate or an unfit mining barge won't count, or I lose the ship 3 times and then move on to the next ship class and repeat the process. The third ship of every size category is a Triglavian ship. 
We will see what comes of this. And those of you that play EVE, perhaps you're recovering from a losing streak as well. I would encourage you to maybe try this recovery method and see what comes of it. The first set, the Incursus, is now completed. I'll be uploading that video within the next two days. I know, I know, this is a really strange and yes, some friends have expressed concern about my new weird obsession with multiples of three. I'll be honest, I'm a little worried myself. But you know, I've got to see this through. I've got to confront this challenge. It beckons me. Now on to some administrative stuff about the channel. Starship geeks who have enjoyed my animations, bear with me because I've decided to stop paying for 3D Studio Max for now and learning more about what I can do with Blender on the animation side. Blender is free and I believe I can do everything I've done with Max and Blender. It's just taking some time to learn the animation and post effects aspects of that software. But once I've learned it and exported everything over, this will be very liberating because my bills will be less and I can freely promote or give tips about this software. This is really pretty good for being free. So if you don't see CG animations and ship videos for a little while, they'll be coming eventually. Also, lightsaber training continues for my new lightsaber channel called Light Warriors. Until next time, space friends, 